Okay, if you're here, it's because it's for the same reason that I made this clip. I looked on YouTube, multiple clips, nobody gave me an answer. Everybody's got the same answer as the next person or somebody's collected all the information and made a video with everything in it. Just fast forward to that time there if you want to see my fix and how I resolved not having the Bluetooth icon in the taskbar. I say, okay. So continuing with this, I watch clips like this. It plays nothing but music, gives you a whole bunch of stuff to read. Basically, he tells you to go to Windows System 32 and type in FS quote and you'll get the icon come up. And then he'll say, create a shortcut for this to your desktop. Then once you've done that, blah, 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 and you click on it, all you get is send files and receive files for Bluetooth by clicking on that. Waste of time. Okay, next one. So skipping the five minute intro that a lot of these clips have and just play music. He's telling you to go to the tools and then go to services and you can just click on start and type in services and go straight to services without having to go this long way. Then you just go down to uh, Bluetooth support and uh, this down here. And then when he clicks on that, now it's currently on manual, and he'll probably tell you to change it to automatic. And then there's other ones that will show you this, and it's on automatic, and they'll tell you to change to manual. Makes no difference either way. The thing is, if you set that to manual, every time you start your computer, you got to come back and go into services and click on start to start the service. If you put it on automatic, the computer's just going to automatically start that service when the computer starts. If the service didn't start, it's because something failed on two attempts of Windows trying. Then you can go back there and click start yourself. But don't put it on manual because you, that makes you have to put it on every single time. And then does he continue to anything good here? So basically he's come to here and he's enabled the Bluetooth adapter. And then it's given you this. This is the part that you need, the Microsoft Bluetooth emulator. If you've only got the adapter and you don't have the icon, it's because you're missing this Bluetooth emulator. So go to the next one. Again with another five minute intro that I just bypassed. He tells you the same thing. Go to system 32 and then it's here to get a FS Quirt. Search in the top there for FS Quirt. And you can do that from just the beginning. You don't even have to go this far. You go open up my computer, type in a search, FS Quirt, and you're going to find the same thing. You don't have to go through the directories. So, <clears throat> again, this is just a time waste of video. And this is just for Windows 10. He advertises it for Windows 7, 8, and 10, but it's not. What he does here is only going to work for Windows 10. So, we'll just pause that and we'll skip past it. So he's going to install this manually. And if you do this if Windows 7, it's not going to work. You go to Microsoft in your devices and you're going to add this. And then it's going to come up in the list. He's trying to do an update to get it work, which failed. And then it comes up in the list here. And you've got the icon on it that it doesn't work. It's not going to. And then he says to install an Intel driver. Well, that's fine and dandy if you've got a computer that has an Intel Bluetooth device, but it's not going to work for everyone. So if you do have an Intel Bluetooth device, then yep, go for it. Try this. May work. I'm just skipping past this. And he's about to open up the Bluetooth devices there. And see, he's only got Intel wireless Bluetooth there. And then he's just going to do an, try and do an update, which doesn't work anyway. And then he comes into here. Now, all he had to do the whole time was come to here, enable Bluetooth, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, that would have worked. And I'll just go one more. So this bloke here is the same. It's just playing music. All he does is come to here enables Bluetooth down here to show the icon in the bottom tray 
but he shows you if that doesn't work then to go to here go into services uh, go into Bluetooth settings sorry change the settings and then he's gonna say show Bluetooth icon which if you don't have that emulator this icon this option here doesn't exist you have to have the emulator for this to show an icon in the taskbar without this all you can do is send and receive files like the other clip I showed you waste of time okay so now I'll get to my fix so I'll explain what's happened I've jumped on eBay and I've bought this Bluetooth device just a standard Bluetooth dongle nothing special cheapest chips it's arrived I've put it on my computer it's installed and what I've got is not this because this is now that it's fixed it's working I'm just going to show you is when it first installed it came up as Caesar Bluetooth device not Bluetooth chip once I installed that and I'm just going to explain for a second here this was not something that I just found out how to do in five minutes this took me a couple of hours a day because I was persistent over the last three days on what to do to get this working on my computer I've got Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit I refuse to update to Windows 10 because I use Windows, uh, Virtual XP and other programs that only works with XP on that virtual system that I want to work and if I upgrade to 10 then I can't use that virtual XP from Windows I'll have to then install other software to make virtual software work and it's a whole other road I don't want to go down not until I'm forced to have no choice then I'll upgrade to 10 okay so once I've got to here and I've done that I've spent a couple of days searching around I have finally found my solution and hopefully one of you is watching this this helps you out too even if you didn't buy a Bluetooth dongle but you have a similar problem this might sort you out so once I've installed that Bluetooth dongle and I've had to go into here because I've tried multiple different drivers and a lot of them didn't work and the ones that did install only showed me a generic Bluetooth radio they didn't show me the emulator so in the end when I finally worked out a pattern of what's working for me what's not I've come had to come into here I've had to uninstall your ticket option here to uninstall drivers as well it doesn't show right now but if I click on yes which I don't want to um, it's going to say do you want to install the drivers as well you'll say you tick that and say yes then you'll restart your computer just let Microsoft driver install and it'll show up here with a generic Microsoft driver that's when you want to then come to get this driver here this is the one that I used no particular reason I just thought my computer is an older computer so I went for an older driver this one worked for me any of these probably could have worked as well this one here definitely not because I have 30 a 64 bit operating system that's for 32 bit I had to pick one for 64 bit so any one of these drivers could have worked I just chose the bottom one it worked so I stuck with what worked once I did that then my driver in the device when I change changed to the chip so you just go back to that so then the driver in here became the CSR Bluetooth chip so uh, now running with Realtek drivers that's what it called it and then through all my other searches I came across these websites that and I'll just move this up here a bit so you got your Bluetooth driver installer that's because I started looking for an emulator when I stopped looking for Bluetooth driver and started looking for Bluetooth emulator that's when I came across this website and this one here is for 32-bit so if you've got a 32-bit operating system give this one a go if you've got a 64-bit operating system give this one a go so the website names at the beginning there uh, I'll just show you a different way so you got your 64-bit Bluetooth driver install your 32-bit driver install 
and this is the Realtek drivers that I installed that was compatible with that Bluetooth chip. So, again, step one was uninstall the drivers, boot the computer up. You can you can either boot it up with the dongle in the computer already or put the dongle in after the computer started. Let Windows reinstall it, then install this driver, and then install whichever one suits your operating system of these drivers. Once that's installed, then I got my emulator as well and it became named Generic Bluetooth Radio. And then, so once that was all done, I could then come down to my taskbar and I now have the Bluetooth icon where I can add devices. And since all my Bluetooth devices are added, I can't really show you any in the list here because there's nothing to add. But if I go to my sound devices, you'll see a list of my Bluetooth devices that are now paired with the computer. So, I'm all sorted, happy days. So yeah, if this helps anybody out, fantastic. I didn't know how to fix this, I had to work it out, and I'm only sharing what I found. So I'm hoping that my search for finding a solution helps others out there. Alrighty, so I hope you've understood that. Hope I wasn't too quick for you, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.